Incoming message. Hello everyone. My name is Sean Muradov. In this video, we are going to create a game with the help of AI, the codes, sprites, sound effects, and music. Even this intro is generated by AI. Let's get into it. Dad, why does everyone make AI videos? I don't know, son. I don't know. Maybe to get more views? I want to make one too. No, son. You can't just make an AI video and expect it to go viral. Don't worry, Dad. I got this. Son, you were supposed to destroy them, not join them. Stop prequel quotes, Dad. It's 2023. It's treason, then. Hello everyone, my name is Shah Muradov. Well, you already know that because either you are subscribed or you watch the intro. So let's just get into it. But before we get into it, please go ahead and subscribe if you are the subscribed. Because this video took a lot of time to edit and make in general. So even if it doesn't matter to you, it would help my channel a lot. So thank you and uh, let's go. So instead of making a completely new game with the help of AI, I decided to make a Sonic game, but with the help of AI, sprites, sound effects, music, even the code will be AI generated as the intro set. So as you can see, first I needed a Sonic sprite to have a character visual, and I discovered that some websites just doesn't work, and made a Sonic mutants, and I found out that Leonardo AI is a free AI that generated the best results. And actually, in my first try, it was the best result. Even though I tried uh, a couple of another tries, I sticked with the first try. But then I discovered that, wait, uh, I think I can generate uh, animations like a sprite sheet, uh, as you can see in the video. And then I tried uh, wall E. No, Dolly to make a Sonic running uh, spreadsheet and it didn't go well. What, uh, what the hell? What, what is this? Uh, <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, and I tried to mess with it a bit to fix it, but uh, I will speed at this part because. Uh, it takes actually i will fast forward a lot of uh, the video parts because it took a lot of time to fix the uh, problems that generated by ai so it, it was probably the best that uh, i learned and do instead of just asking everything ai so anyway i just decided to forget about sprite and just to go with the original sprite remove its background place it on the scene and boom we have the sonic and now we just need to make it move and making it move was a lot of struggle i will probably 1000 times speed this part because it took a ton of time I'm not even talking about adding dash part it will be in the, later in the video hopefully I can shrink the video down because currently the video is about 30 minutes long and I'm currently editing hopefully it can be less than a 10 minute video anyway and finally we will have uh, Sonic moving which was a tricky part and I found out that ChatGPT is pretty dumb it can generate some simple code, but for complex and specific problems, you have to iterate over and over. And in that case, I would just learn the program language. Next, I just needed to add a background and the camera to follow the player. And as Leonardo generated a completely different background, I added the original Sonic background as a reference and then it generated a better result. And then I just generated a code to follow the player by ChatGPT. And now we have a finally a camera that follows the player and the moving background. Now I generate the floor sprite as I did in the background sprite in Leonardo.ai. I added a reference and it went pretty easy. And I noticed that Sonic is blurry when it goes too fast and I asked ChatGPT how to fix it. And unexpectedly it was pretty easy to fix so now it works. Then we need to add some enemies to the game and I said the first enemy is the proper way to go. And uh, Leonardo.ai again generated weird results so I added the reference that this should be the enemy visual and generated it then i asked ChatGPT to generate a movement left to right and it was pretty easy to implement i also didn't want to make the game too complex so when sonic touches any enemy enemy dies and sonic never dies and with that we have a new enemy working i don't know why i decided that dash ability would be cool but uh probably sonic has it so this was the worst idea because ChatGPT couldn't implement it properly so i spent almost a whole day working on it but finally it worked it's not perfect but it works in sonic games you press and hold down down arrow and sonic crouches then you jump and sonic dashes in our game to be visually accurate that Sonic is crouching, I shrink the Sonic down when you hold down down arrow, and when you jump, Sonic dashes. And with that, we have a dash ability working. 
After making this match, adding rings is pretty easy because it's the same with Leonardo. I just add the reference because it just didn't make the same ring as in Sonic games. And uh, as ChatGPT, it's pretty easy to implement ring because it just collects and destroys and in the UI it displays how many rings you have. After adding rings display, I decided to add a timer so it displays how many seconds have passed. Also, if you want, you can speedrun the game and share with me your results. But to actually speedrun the game, you need a finish goal. In Sonic games, there's a Robotnik's face on the finish goal and when you get past it, it turns into Sonic's face. I asked ChatGPT to write a code for this and Leonardo.ai to generate sprite for this. And at the collider, so when you get past it, it detects that you finished the level and pops up game over UI. And now we can actually finish the game. Now it's time to add some fonts, but I couldn't find an AI generated fonts. I found, but they were not like Sonic's fonts. So I added Sonic's in-game UI fonts and our game actually looks like a Sonic game now. Now I thought it's good time to add AI generated sound effects. So I asked ChatGPT to give me some links for AI generated sound effects, but they all didn't work. But then I found something revolutionary. Speech and language revolutionized communication, giving humans an evolutionary advantage. And the AI revolution in audio production can now give your platform the advantage. By generating audio in seconds, more flexibly, and at a scale to match the demands of digital media. Audiostack.ai helps you communicate dynamically, just as humans do instinctively. And that's how I got the idea for my intro. And instead of searching for sound effects, I decided to make a quick intro here, and this is how it went. Hello everyone. Uh, oops, no, no, not that, not, not that. Incoming message. Hello everyone. My name is Sean Muradov. In this video, we are gonna create a game with the help of AI. The codes. Yeah, now that we have an intro, let's get into it. sound dev, no, music. We are generating music now. I found a website that translates text to music, so let's see how it is. Wow, okay. That actually sounds like a Sonic music. I can put it in main menu. Let's see if I can generate a level music. It was generating music so good that I couldn't decide, but actually I decided, I decided to go this one for the first level music. Now that we have selected our music, we can download them, import them and fix a few bugs, which shouldn't take too long, right? Right? No? Okay. Are we doing it? No? Okay. Yeah, now that we are done, we have a main menu with music and scrolling background. As I said before, I couldn't find a tool to generate sound effects by AI, but I found a tool that generates sound effects and I believe those are not human sounds, so yeah, they are AI. After playing with these alien signals, I managed to find the perfect sonic jump, as in Sonic games. Now that I have a sound effects, I need to import them into Unity. I place them in their correct order. For example, when you jump, you play jump sound effects, etc. And after finishing the sound effects, I designed the level a bit, so it's a playable level. Uh, and now you will see fast forward version of how I designed the level. Now when I see the result, it actually feels like it's finished. Now of course it's not finished, I decided to add sound effects for winning and destroying an enemy. I know our game is very beautiful, 
but I decided to add post-processing to make it even more beautiful. Then I noticed that the rings seem a bit odd, so I decided that they need a bit animation. I know how to do animations, but I just wanted to see if ChatGPT can do animation, and I think it knows how to do it, but I will do it myself. You might think, wow, that's a great game, well done. Is it it's finished, right? No, not yet. We need to add cover image. So Leonardo.ai generated its cover image for Sonic, even though it's weird, but uh, it's Sonic kind of. So I used them in Unity and this is the result. You might think, wow, that's a, that's a great game, it's finished, right? Uh, well, yes, uh, now it's finished. I just need to add some build settings and I decided to, in the end, change the buttons to generated by AI because uh, it's buttons, why not generated by AI as well? And uh, yeah, now it's finished and you will watch the gameplay of the... But you already watched, so I don't need to include it in the video, I think. You can go ahead and play on Ishtad.io. If you want, if you reached that video this far, good job or maybe thank you because it helps my channel a lot and I hope you were entertained. Please give your feedbacks in the comments below because it takes so long to produce videos like this and I want to know if it's worth it or not. If not, I would probably switch to another type of videos. So that's why please give your comments. Also, since the last video, we have a few updates about the community. We firstly have a new Discord channel you are welcome to join. You can also check out my new website, there's some useful links, some updates about my games, and who knows, maybe you can join our team, because we've had some job openings recently, and I announced it in Discord and on my website. Also, thanks to Jonas Tyro for making a beautiful game about AI. I used his soundtracks in the video. Hopefully, I think that's okay, because in the description he mentioned it's okay to use. So thanks to him for beautiful game and beautiful soundtracks. Last but not the least, there's a unit sale going on right now, and if you're Unity developer, you will probably need it. You can check the links in the description or on my website to access those assets and maybe you can find something useful. That's it from me for now. I think the video is long enough. I just, uh, I think I should just end it here. Okay, uh, bye.